Hey, welcome, welcome. This is Israel Wendy. Hey, Terry, how are you? I'm uh, going to do some painting today and some worship. I know it's an odd time, but um, I really was tired today, so I slept longer than I should have. Although, <laughs> I was woke up several times, and a friend of mine called me and said, Hey, did you call me? So, maybe maybe in the middle of the, my sleep, I telepathically <laughs> called him. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for inviting your uh, followers. Thanks uh, for um, um, sharing, and thanks for the hearts ahead of time. But before we get started, um, I got some music that I'm going to be playing and some painting, and I just wanted to touch on something. Um, yes, I'm wearing my Jesus Did It hoodie. Believe it or not, I'm kind of chilly, and it's almost 90 degrees outside, and that just tells you how great my insulation is in my house. I have no air conditioning. When I have trees around me, and, and I'm reaching out to you guys today and saying, come on, we need to up our insulation. Yay, Jesus did it, ha. Yeah, make sure you check out the website, um, jesusdidit.org. It's an awesome group of broadcasters, and we, you know, we do a lot of things, not just uh, broadcast. We, uh, you know, we support each other, we pray for you, we do a lot of things. And um, and soon I'm going to be going on a missions trip uh, in January to the Dominican Republic. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of construction jobs and a lot of uh, ministry to be done there because of the terrible hurricane stuff. And so... If you feel led, I have a link on my um, profile that you can, um, a PayPal link that you can um, contribute towards this trip. Um, anyway, uh, what I wanted to say is we need to up our insulation. We need to get a thicker skin and we need to work together. Um, Satan just loves to separate us and get us fighting and get us squabbling. Hey, how are you, black eyes? <laughs> I, where are you from? Yes, he loves division. And a lot of the things I've been hearing lately, um, you know, people are talking about false prophets. And so I kind of looked into that myself. And I'm going to read out of uh, the Oxford Bible. Uh, and this is 1 John chapter 4. And just some background about this. Um, back in the time when this book was uh, written, the you know, inspired by God, the 1 John was written, there were... Um, uh, prophets going around saying that Jesus never came in the flesh. And John wanted to squash that. And so he wrote, Beloved, do not believe every spirit. And what he was saying there um, is that it's not the person, it's the spirit. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone into the world. By this, you know the spirit of God. Again, it's a spirit. It's not the person. It's not the person. It's a spirit. And how many um, times are we influenced by our feelings or, or this little voice in, inside of us that may or may not be from God? It, it's, not, it's not the person. It, it is a, a spirit that is influencing them. And we have to pray against that. We have to armor up against that every day. And in... Uh, 
in uh, 1 John 4, 2, it says, By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus is not from God, this is the spirit of the Antichrist. So, so if, if you hear um, people saying, oh, you know, Jesus was just a good prophet, or, or you know, if, if you hear someone that's uh, confessing that, that Jesus never came in the flesh, you know, you know that this is a false prophet. But it is not up to us to, to you know, go around accusing everybody of being a false prophet and that that is where um a lot of people make a mistake they go around accusing and what is satan satan is the accuser of the brethren so you have to weigh you have to weigh the spirit that, that you know if you suspect somebody is a false prophet look at their fruits if they're not fruity, if they're not um, producing love, if they're not doing things that are of God, you know, they may be a false prophet, but it's not up to us. It's not up to us to accuse them. God, we are responsible for our own self. We are responsible for our own walk with God. And even though there are false prophets out there, yes, they are still children of God. God still loves them. So we have to be very careful. We have to control our mouth. We have to uh, make sure that we're operating in love. Because if we're not operating in love, we're not operating in God because God is love. God loves everyone, even if they don't believe in him. So we have to be very careful to be those ambassadors, the ambassadors of Christ and show the love that Jesus shows. You know, just beam Jesus, beam that love that comes out and, and stop tearing people apart. If, if you don't believe what they're saying, pray about it. You know, the people that you complain about the most, you should be praying the most about instead of complaining. And and you need to be very careful that you're not slandering an anointed man or woman of God. Because they indeed may be hearing from God. And they indeed may be telling the truth. But it may be that we don't want to accept that. Yes, we need to love our enemies. And we need to pray for them. Because... J what I do is I think about the end result. What is going to happen in the end? I mean, if you are a false prophet, and I'm not accusing anyone, if you're a false prophet, you are going to be accountable for what you are teaching. And God is very strict, you know, on what those people that are leading the flock astray. So we have to operate in love. And if we don't agree with what someone is saying, just don't listen to them. Don't give them ear or, or any type of reaction because the enemy is looking for you to act mm -hmm. the fool. The enemy is looking for you to act out of hatred or, or out of anger. The enemy does not want you to show the love of Jesus. That is the bottom line. The enemy wants the world to see you as a fool so they won't listen to you. And if you're showing the love of Jesus, that is 
more of a ministry than, <laughs> you know, a lot. Because a lot of people will not go to church. They will not go to church, but they see your life. They see how you act in love. And that plants seeds. That plants seeds because they too want that peace. They want that love. They want that joy that can only come from Jesus Christ. So that's what I have to say today. <laughs> God bless you. I didn't even practice that. It just, it, the Holy Spirit just came right out. So I'm going to turn this around. We're going to do some painting and, um, of course, I'm going to take my Jesus Did It uh, sweatshirt off so I don't get paint on it. But anyway, just think about that. Think about how you portray yourself for the world because they are watching whether you know it or not. That person down the street from you that, that you hardly even talk to, they're watching you because they want to see you fail. And when you don't fail, when you show the love of Jesus, that shocks them and they say, wow, I want to check that out. It's like my dad. My dad was an atheist for years. He said God didn't exist. And he saw a huge change in me. He saw a huge change in me and he accepted Christ. Not because he went to church. Not because he read the Bible, but because he saw the change and he knew that it was real. He knew that, that God is real. So I'm going to turn around. We'll, we'll do some praising and um, let's get the... There we go. So I already started the background here. Um, let's line this up a little bit here. And let's turn some music on. And this is called House Fires. Yes and Amen. Hopefully you can hear it. Thanks for the hearts. And I'm sorry, I don't know if it's house fires one, two, or three. Whoops, I'm dunking my paintbrush. Now I got a, a willow tree outside my window here. That's what I'm going to be painting. If you've ever... Uh... Yes, I'm going to go to the Dominican in um, January. I need my first uh, $500 payment down by the 1st of October. Yeah, I know, and my son is in Florida, so keep my son in um, prayer because he uh, is down in Florida helping uh, with the hurricane relief.
And I think, is it Maria that's supposed to hit pretty soon? I'm trying to copy my willow tree here that's hanging down. And it has kind of, it's branches are kind of kinked. God bless you guys today. Sing, I will rest. I will rest. Yes. I got relatives in Canada. I have uh, relatives in uh, Nakawick, New Brunswick, and also uh, Fredericton. I got these new paintbrushes and they're stiff. I don't know if they had some kind of chemical on them or what. So glad you guys all joined me. Thank you for joining the scope. I hope you enjoy the music. I love weeping willows. Everybody's been trying to get me to cut my weeping willow tree down, but I won't do it. It is messy, but... acrylic paint. This is uh, called Van Dyke Brown. And I'm not a professional. I just started painting like in January. I didn't double click here. This is uh, Dean Salen.
Thank you very much. I like a variety of gospel and contemporary. Just putting a little bit of um, highlight on the Hey, Rick. I'm not using hooker green here. <laughs> so I'm not getting all those bots in here. But I am using Van Dyke Brown, so. Oh, thank you for the super heart. Hey cat, how are ya? I'm painting my willow tree. It's kind of hard because I'm a long way away from the canvas. But the camera is in the way, so... Well, thanks for popping in. Oh, you're driving. No accidents. Mm -hmm. Now there is another. And if you ever looked or uh, watched me paint anything else, you can see that I like nature stuff. Just showing the glory of God. I mean, somebody looks at a sunset, how can they say that that just happened, you know? It was God. This is Amanda Cook.
my hand is steady. <laughs> That's because I'm leaning on my water jug. <laughs> This uh, white, it looks like um, it looks like white paint that I'm mixing in here, but it's a gloss, so that when it dries, it'll be shiny. It'll just add like a three-dimensional kind of. Somebody like that. <laughs> How did I learn to paint? I didn't, I don't know. I, I, it was the Holy Spirit. Because I never even had lessons. I can't draw even. And um, I was bored because I had to set with my uh, foot up for so long because I broke it in several places. And um, I was bored, so I had somebody get me paints and stuff, and I just started painting, and I know it was the Holy Spirit, because I can't paint without praise music, you know? I tried. I would encourage anybody to step out of your comfort zone and see what you can do through God, you know? You may be surprised. I never thought I could paint. I do have an a artist in my family, but and my grandfather used to paint, but... Unfortunately, I never took the time to learn from them. I'm just putting some of that gloss in onto the darker branches here. from the Oaks Fellowship. in heaven we're going to be able to do anything we want you know we can play an instrument or we can do anything we can learn different languages or...
Thank you for joining me and thanks for the hearts. Yeah, it is soothing. It's um, Holy Fire from Soar. You can get it on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I gotta turn off all my devices before I can even uh, scope because, well, my house is like 200 years old and it's got all old uh, telephone wiring and all that. So, I'm thinking about calling and seeing if I could up my um, broadband, but. Because I don't get cable, I just get the Wi-Fi. And of course they'll try to talk me into it, but no. I don't I haven't had TV in like 20 years. Oh God, come have your way, oh God, come have your way in me. I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit and then we'll put some leaves on there. Yeah, but I bet you're a blessing to your parents. I've had to stay with my parents off and on. Mixing up some paint here for the leaves. why my brushes are so stiff it's like they put a coating on in the factory or something I have to wash it off it's weird because <laughs> these are brand new brushes Oops, that's watered down too much. I gotta wait a minute. <laughs>
This is William McDowell. You might have to get a smaller brush. This isn't making the nice long leaves like a willow tree has. Hey Terry, how are you? about the same. I'm not sure what time the Bible news thing comes on. I usually watch replays. <laughs> Unless I'm at work and there's some live ones. Because I work nights. Well, this is kind of hard to paint. I'm trying to make it look like my willow tree, but... Thank you for your support, Jason.
Wow, that cut off abruptly. <laughs> This is uh, Vashon Michael Mitchell. How's your little chillins there, Terry? How are they doing in school? <laughs> Yes. God bless. Our church prayed for them this weekend, Sunday. God is amazing. And God is going to be awesome in what he's going to do in those children's lives. bit older one. It's a uh, Bishop Paul Morton. Thank you. 
Mmm, my dog is getting a little adventurous going down my driveway. And just as long as she doesn't go out of the driveway. She's blind, so I gotta keep my eye on her. <laughs> Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah. Mommy saw you out there. Some of these branches are kind of bare on my tree because, I don't know, it just seems to drop branches and it's been windy. Hallelujah. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Just praise him. Praise him. There is none more worthy of our praise. Praise him. Praise God. Praise God. He is so worthy of our praise. I hope that you take the time each day to praise what Jesus has done for you. This is called a little longer.
I'm just highlighting a couple of the leaves here to make it look like there's sunshine in here. This is a hill song called Bones. I don't know if this is a popular song, but I just heard it and I liked it. I know it's a little low, but it gets louder. Hey, welcome Joshua. Thanks for joining the scope. We're just kind of relaxing and hanging out here. And painting. I'm just adding a little, um, highlights here to make it look like the sun is hitting a couple leaves. And that's what we have to be to the world. We have to be Jesus to the world. And he is alive in us. So show your love. Show your love to a world that's full of hatred and death and destruction. A world that doesn't know love. This last song has a little sad. It always makes me cry. But I love it. This is Benjamin Doobie and the Doobie Brothers.
Just putting some, uh, I put low lights in, or highlights, now I gotta put the low lights in.
And let's end on a happy note <laughs> and be reminded to count our blessings.
Well, God bless you all. Thank you for joining me. Um, make sure that you share this out to all your followers. And um, thank you for the hearts. Um, make sure that you count your blessings and start focusing on the good. I'll go back so that you can see. Um, this is like my willow tree hanging down. And... Uh, so God bless you, and I hope to see you guys again. Uh, this is Israel Wendy. Yes, um, I am going on a, a missions trip in, to the Dominican. Um, not only is it be mission work, but it will probably be some cleanup down there because, you know, all these uh, er, uh, hurricanes going through. But that is going to be uh, the last week in January, and I need my first uh, $500 deposit by the 1st of October. So um, the Jesus Did It group is going to be doing uh, some fundraising and uh, getting the word out. And so in my bio, there is a link uh, for a PayPal and if you don't have PayPal, uh, you can contact me. My email is also in there. And we can figure out another way. Um, so um, if God puts that in your heart to support a missions, uh, you know, when, when you support me, I'm talking about praying as well. Because I need all the prayers I can get to cover my trip. Because it's going to be quite the uh, trip. So, especially since I don't like flying. <laughs> but anyway, so God bless you. Thank you for the hearts. Um, make sure that you go to JesusDidIt.org and check out that link there. Um, there's a lot of uh, broadcasters that are supported by that group. Not only just the broadcasters, but there are those broadcasters that we enjoy. So if you've enjoyed this scope, make sure you check that out. And uh, make sure, sure you uh, follow me. And you follow uh, the other um, broadcasters of the Jesus Did It group. Like Terry, who is here with us today. She has some awesome teaching scopes. You can learn a lot from this woman of God. She's an awesome, awesome woman of God. So Terry put up some emojis, put up some uh, heart emojis or however. Boy, that um, palette looks like, uh, I don't know, it looks like some dinner gone wrong. But anyway, yes, follow Terry Hicks. She has some awesome scopes, some fire scopes. And uh, she is um, a teacher of a Christian school that she's doing uh, really good work with young uh, children, even some that uh, have parents that are uh, um, atheist. And so those children are being taught um, about Jesus and hopefully they bring them uh, back to uh, bring uh, snippets back to their parents so their parents mm -hmm. can also hear about Jesus. So keep Terry mm -hmm. Hicks in prayer and um, make sure that you pray for each of the D Jesus Did It broadcasters as we also pray for you. God bless you. Well, Thank you, Kevin, for joining. <laughs> that was a quick in and out. So God bless you guys. Uh, thank you, Kevin, for joining. But we're ending the scope here, so you'll have to catch the replay. Yes, check out JesusDidIt.org, and you'll find uh, many um, broadcasters. And like I said, if, if you feel led to uh, contribute a few dollars towards uh, my missions trip, uh, it will be like uh, you are joining in on the trip. You will be helping um, the Haitians and the Dominicans that are in the uh, area where I will be going, which is uh, Hado Mayor, um, in case anybody speaks Spanish. <laughs> Although I'll be going with an interpreter, so that'll be good for me. 
But God bless you. Make sure that you count your blessings today. And uh, for those that missed the beginning of the scope where I talked about false prophets, uh, you can check out the replay and um, make sure that you show love to those that don't have Jesus so that, that your love may be the thing that brings them to know Christ. So God bless you. This is uh, Israel, Wendy, over and out. Until next time, God bless you.